Hello everyone, it's Craig from Server Factory back again with another video. Today we are going to be doing a quick overview of Supermicro's IPMI and its features. For those who don't know, IPMI or Intelligent Platform Management Interface basically allows a server to be remotely managed, managed and monitored. IPMI runs on something called a BMC or Baseboard Management Controller, which is a hardware subsystem that operates independently from the host CPU, OS and firmware. This means that a system admin can easily connect to a server remotely, power cycle the system and see sensor information even if the main system is turned off or has no OS. We are going to be going over the main features of Supermicro's IPMI and how they can be used to efficiently manage your Supermicro systems remotely. One of the most basic features of IPMI is hardware monitoring. So by logging into IPMI, an admin can monitor CPU temperature, power consumption, fan speed and more. An admin can also configure the IPMI so that if, for example, CPU temperatures go above a certain threshold, the admin will get an email notification them of it so that they can take action based upon the analytics they are given. Remote power cycling is another feature that system admins will find very useful. For example, if a program crashes and a system restart is needed, it can be easily done remotely without anyone needing physical access to the system. Serial over LAN is also a pretty major IPMI feature, allowing for this remote control for CLI based operating systems and applications. Now, the features we've gone over so far are standard features for all systems that support the latest revision of IPMI 2.0. However, Supermicro along with some other vendors also offer additional features such as support for KVM over IP, which basically allows for remote access to the BIOS and DOS applications even when the OS has not yet booted. Remote media redirection, a feature that's usually part of KVM over IP, allows a user to connect USB storage devices like USB drives to the remotely controlled system, allowing to remotely install operating systems such as Windows and Linux. This is a big one because it means businesses don't have to waste time and money sending a technician to the data center to manually install OS's on each system. Making this feature very valuable to organizations that need to manage a lot of systems as there is much less need for local hands. All of the features we've gone over so far come standard with most Supermicro motherboards but users can also purchase an optional out-of-bound license key for roughly $20, which allows for BIOS updates to be done remotely through the IPMI interface or using the remote media redirection feature. IPMI firmware updates can be also done remotely using these methods without the need of the out-of-bound license. The only extra feature that the out-of-bound license enables is remote BIOS updates. Pretty much all other features come as standard with most Supermicro systems. We've only just scratched the surface of the many features that Supermicro IPMI has to offer in this quick video. But we hope that you enjoyed it and hopefully you learned something. If you would like to see a video that goes more into depth about what's possible with Supermicro IPMI, please let us know by leaving a comment or even just leaving a like. Thank you for watching and see you next time.